Here is a clip of Bill Maher on his first panel back with Sam Harris and uh, Catherine Marie, uh, Mary Catherine Ham, who is a uh, editor at Town Hall and Hot Air. She's also a contributing writer at The Federalist and a CNN contributor as well. The question of Donald Trump's legal troubles came up, and so she mentioned the original sin of all of this was Russiagate. And the reason why you can't really build credibility around these attacks on Trump is because all of that goodwill was squandered with Russiagate. And of course, Bill Maher and Sam Harris, it's funny because these guys are such anti-wokesters, right? They're such critics of like postmodernism, right? They're, 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 they, they claim to have such a corner on reality, yet their take on Russiagate is as religious and as unreal as anything that you would hear from a religiously devout person or a lot of these wokesters, right? Like this is their wokeism right here, is Russiagate. And so here she is laying it out Both. for them. Well, well, uh, that that's that's what that's what always strikes you when you deal with these people because they're so, uh, you know, virulent about Fox News viewers and and yeah, man. I mean, that's a certain kind of. Uh, right-wing person there's no one in society more like those people than you people are right Functionally, the rest of exactly us are standing apart and watching both of you behave exactly the, in the same disgusting knee-jerk ways right you're, you're both very prone to accept any propaganda that comes to you from your media sources you're both very resistant as you'll see in this segment to any contradictory narrative that gets away from what your media has told you. It doesn't even charts, diagrams, pictures. It doesn't matter. You're just like these people that you claim to be so much smarter than. Exactly. Exactly. And I just want to mention before we start the roll the tape here, this video is from Twitter, courtesy of Turncoat Don, a great video editor on Twitter. So there are a couple of different sort of satirical flourishes that he puts in here throughout the video. Uh, that's not HBO. That's his touch. So go follow Turncoat Don on Twitter and on YouTube. He has a YouTube channel as well. Here we go. The original sin from both media and the intelligence agencies and, and, uh, and federal law enforcement is the Russiagate stuff. And the reason that so many in the party, and I'm here as the translator because I'm not one of them, but so many in the party accept so much of Donald Trump's behavior is because the Russia stuff was a lie. No, it wasn't. Well, it wasn't all a lie. It yes, it's not the, all this, a lie. Oh you guys God. have been ripped. No, are you, are you no, going to do a steel dossier on me? No, no, here? no. That, that, well, that some of the steel dossier yeah. was true. Okay. So they can't you know, even get the, their story straight on that. Sam Harris says that part was a lie. Oh, uh, it wasn't all a lie. You mean the thing that started it all? Oh, yeah, that was a lie. And then Bill Maher, well, no, no. Some well, of no, it not true. all of it. Not, not all, all of it. it. It it turns out he didn't, he di he didn't um, only urinate. Um, most of it was beer, but there was a little trickle of urine that came out on the hookers so yeah. you know it wasn't it wasn't a flood of urine but it was a little urine it's so coincidental that you said the word urine because i was just about to say great new set design for the show they made it look hey let's make the let's make the background look like the crew just pissed all over the wall <laughs> like that's what it looks like it's a piss yellow <laughs> color palette that they have <laughs> it looks like the it looks like hey why don't we have the audience come and just piss all over the set before we turn the cameras on oh, so there's a nice know, yellow yeah. glow behind all the speakers that looks horrible it's horrible I mean, it, Bill Maher, I mean, it's a funny thing because he does, you know, he does all this anti-woke shit, which, uh, you know, is certainly not going to make you popular with the liberal crowd. Um, and then this stuff, he's completely blind to the idea that the received wisdom might be bullshit. This stuff, he just goes full shit lip, just typical shit Yeah, lip. exactly exactly like you're right like you stick your thumb in their eye on a lot of the identity politics stuff but then the only people who this bullshit appeals to are those people who those are just people. pissed off with the identity right. politics stuff so you talk about you just like cutting your audience off at both ends all right here we go this, like we, this, we did Mueller report for three years yes and, and Mueller never time, said he was innocent and the whole time I'm like guys I don't think he's a Russian plant <laughs> and everyone on CNN set is looking at me like I'm crazy and at the end we get to not much there there which no was there the was case quite a bit there. there was a lot there was there. a lot there yeah, there was collusion we never had before it was unprecedented that a president would do that he just did it in public because yeah. he's insane you do know he, he did it in public because he's insane the motherfucker is currently facing like 855 indictments. 
So you really think if he committed crime so out in the open, as you claim, that this Russiagate was an example of, you don't think they'd have nailed him for any of that? Look at everything they're going after him for now. You don't think that he would be charged under some statute now if they had anything there? Like, this is not a guy who's gotten a pass from the legal system. This is the guy who's getting the book thrown at him from every angle right now. So how are you going to say, well, it's just that he's insane, so he committed these crimes so out in the open, and he gets away with it because he's Donald Trump? The, mother, the guy's got five court dates <laughs> scheduled in the, in the next six months. He was just in a civil court right now. What the fuck are you talking about? It's just well, so not, delusional. Not only that, I mean, what and 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 she bring she brings it up with the Bidens, but it's not just that. I mean, you go, you read Clinton Cash. It gets into how the Clintons, uh, you know, under Hillary State Department, steered a uranium deal that sold a lot of our uranium stock to uh, to Russia it was done under them. Um, what if that were Donald Trump? I mean, they'd be all over it. So there's just, it's where they choose to focus. There was also, um, oh, who was a Clinton loyalist? John Podesta. There was a whole investigation with him and his brother and their lobbying firm about being unregistered agents who did work for Russia and other foreign governments. And, you know, I mean, if they wanted to frame it that way, if the media wanted to frame it that way, there's as much, if not more, evidence of collusion on the other side as she point as, as she points out either in this or the other clip you were showing me um in the end the steel dossier was russian disinformation yes that was, was russian disinformation. up it was using a, a russian was, national right how is that not collusion right isn't that collusion that is more at there's more evidence that the clinton campaign colluded with russians than there is that donald trump did of so course. why aren't you up in arms about it why is your head exploding about this of course. No, I, I do think I think one of the advantages of being insane. And most of it, who can clap for it? None of it. How brain dead is your audience that they can applaud? Oh, he just did it out in the open because he's insane. Yeah. I mean, just pathetic. But, I mean, this was he's, always David Frum's line. Everything he's doing is in plain view and it's not illegal. He's just oh, violating. David Frum, great, great source of information. David Frum, architect of the you know most blatant. Iraq war lies that were ever told. Oh, they, you know, if you read David Frum, you know, he, he's the source of information on this. You, you, you should really go. In through. every political norm he's, we except, have. Except, except there are things there were. Back up. Slime. Everything he's doing is in plain view and it's not illegal. He's just violating every political norm he's, we except, have. Except, okay, well, if it's things... not illegal and he, he's just violating every political norm we have, then that is for the voters to rectify if they choose to do so. Like that, that is not an argument for an intrusion into the political process by the legal system. He just said, well, if he's doing it out in the open and it's not illegal, right, it just violates uh, every uh, norm in the uh, book. Okay, so uh, cut this out later if it's stepping on the segment. But just, just, to, be, uh, just to be clear on what I'm talking about here, because uh, this is a good example of, hey, man, if you wanted to weaponize the Justice Department and the media in the same way with the Clintons, you could very easily do that. This is the New York Times. This is this is hardly a uh, you know anti lib <laughs> publication. It is the yeah. This it, was the it, famous it, article it, that was circulating at the time. Yeah, yeah, this this is the house paper of the shit lips. As the Russians gradually assumed control of Uranium One in three separate transactions from 2009 to 2013, Canadian records show a flow of cash made its way to the Clinton Foundation. Uranium One's chairman used his family foundation to make four donations totaling $2.35 million. Those contributions were not publicly disclosed by the Clintons despite an agreement Mrs. Clinton had struck with the Obama White House to publicly identify all donors. Other people with ties to the company made donations as well. And shortly after the Russians announced their intention to acquire a majority stake in Uranium One, Mr. Clinton received $500,000 for a Moscow speech from a Russian investment bank with links to the Kremlin that was promoting Uranium One stock. So literally, when, what, it, when you say there's more evidence of collusion regarding democrats than there is regarding trump that's not an exaggeration that's not hyperbole that's not having an anti-democratic bias that is demonstrably fucking true so when 
the conservatives and conservative media talk about it being a witch hunt. I mean, they're not wrong. It doesn't mean Donald Trump, and in regards to Russia, again, I'm not talking about that, but I'm talking about his various prosecutions going on with Donald Trump. I don't believe he's innocent of everything he's being accused of or being charged with. But what I think you could is incontrovertible is there's as much, if not more, evidence against prominent Democrats, including Joe Biden and his family, that is not being framed by the media as stuff that the American public should be ripping its hair out about. It's all narratives. Right. Right. Exactly. Exactly. There were things that were illegal, okay, like know, using the FISA court to spy on American citizens in ways that they should yeah, not have done. That, that, Those, that was legal, right. but that wasn't him. That's right. That's right. And You're the right. fact that the Hillary Clinton campaign right. was partially responsible for funding this dossier, which partially came from, but, oh, wait for it, Russian disinformation. Boom. It was, a, and then it started okay, but, this cycle I, I, of media. Turncoat Don should have animated so, something there. Should have given that a yeah. little. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Just a note for next time jerk and then we had four years of that I'm it's not exactly everything they said it was but it's not nothing the standard of evidence used for the russia thing for three four years versus the standard of evidence used now in media for biden and hunter biden's shenanigans mm. and fairly obvious influence peddling is worlds apart worlds exactly. apart exactly and i would just like to and voters deserve fairness in how these two people are treated. They do not get it, and they sometimes don't get yeah. it from law enforcement. And here's the problem. A bunch of people, including in the justice system, looked at Trump and said, he's going to bust all the norms. And you know what we need to do? Bust all the norms to stop him. And that is oh, a very, not very all, unhealthy. Yeah. Not all. No, not, not all. Oh, no, 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 no. Just, just the ones that are not important. Just the ones that are unimportant to that, that, that are subservient to the overall cause of getting rid of Trump, right? Uh, but that's a great point. I mean, that, that's the ultimate point. Now, now, as we have an impeachment inquiry um, being filed into Joe Biden, is, okay, now we have a situation where the standard of evidence is completely different. Right. And so how, right. you could, how you could still be arguing that the evidence that has been litigated over and over and over again throughout the Russiagate saga now for years and years, I mean, this is ridiculous now. This is going back six years now. How you can argue that rises, that meets a higher standard of evidence than the investigations into Joe Biden is just absurd. It's just absurd. And everything is in context. Politics is all about context. Um, well, and it's so, so, sorry, go ahead. I mean, it's such transparent state media, like the uh, the the uh, Ray Epps headlines that were all almost identical. Ray Epps exactly. found guilty, uh, challenging right wing conspiracy narrative. They all spun it that way. They all spun it exactly the same way that this guy getting a slap on the wrist actually did not reinforce the theory that he was a Fed, but completely debunked it right? right he's got to do a little community service well now we can see they threw the book at him right, <laughs> right. it's a, it is it is it's state media and that's how you can come out being you know there's like bill maher it, it it wasn't everything they promised but it wasn't nothing yes it was right. yes it was fucking <laughs> it was, nothing it was fucking yes nothing. it literally was nothing literally yep. was nothing unlike a lot of people that you support please clap